Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 21st, 2023. Well, my goodness, we've got the country heating up like crazy, getting very, very warm around the nation, but market is not so hot. Um, obviously, a lot of selling has come into the market, and this morning it looks like we're going to experience a little bit of a relief rally here, um, trying to push us back up to test some of these resistance areas in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you very much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can glean a little bit of information about how, how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here with this pre-market candle, we're trying to gap up this morning, trying to get a little relief following through that bit of a bounce here on the diamonds on Friday. But if we look in that chart, well, we can clearly see some significant levels of price resistance above us. So namely, um, obviously this is a, a big candle sell off in here. So I would say if the bulls continue to be inspired, maybe a press up to test that level. And if they can push on through that level, then I think we might have a shot of getting all the way back up into here. Now we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we rally up because there is that possibility of considerable volatility in this move. Remember, we still have the downtrend in play and that area of the chart up there. There's also one other place that we could find maybe just a little bit of resistance here today and that's right here in that 50 day moving average popping up there to test the underneath side of that 50. so we'll want to keep an eye on that if those bears were to for for some reason find inspiration today then maybe a push back down uh, possibly to break down through that support level again and maybe we come on down testing the underneath side of that and perhaps even the trend in the diamond so that's something to uh, point out here that all we've done so far in this paint pullback is pull back to the trend in the diamonds so obviously that failure of the 50 was a little bit of a technical damage issue and the fact that we've got a lower high and officially in a downtrend with a lower high and a lower low that also adds some technical worries but we'll want to watch this as we try to push back up let's take a look at our um, spy spy has a little bit more on the side of technical damage here, as you can see. Obviously, fairly steep selling to the downside here. We failed through this price support, which now becomes resistance. We also failed through this price support. And we're trying to bounce back through that this morning after that little rally on Friday after gapping lower. So kind of keep in mind, um, we could run into a little bit of resistance right in this area, but if those bulls continue to push, and I kind of suspect they will, I'll show you why here in just a little bit, but that push back up into this area is where we're going to be, want to be watching for that next potential uh, selling wave that could come in if that uncertainty continues to grow here in the market. So watch that carefully in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, that's fairly easy to see what we might do. We might break right back down through that little level of price support there. And I think the possibility of testing this area in the chart does look um, reasonable if those bears were to really um, start to push. Um, don't see that happening um, at the moment, and there would be um, some reason to believe that we should get a relief rally first. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that in just a second. Now our QQQ. Um, they are very, very sensitive. The NASDAQ stocks are very sensitive to um, rate increases and the rate increases that we've been seeing have been adding additional pressure 
to the NASDAQ and as you can see we've got a situation here well it's just not all that great um, we've got this downtrend we've got some major uh, support levels in here that have broken um, in the chart we did rally back up and this is a failure at the 50-day moving average which is obviously a technical um, situation here that has created some damage in that chart and maybe some uncertainty so this morning, if those bulls find inspiration here and continue to push to the upside, then look for an area up in here um, for that next resistance. We we might I might have to flatten this um, uh, downtrend off because it's a little steep. Flatten it out just a little bit, but watch that closely up into this area of the chart for that next level of price resistance. If the bears were to find inspiration today then I would look for maybe a retest of this low and you can see if we were to break back down through that price support the next price support is probably down in here so um, that could be a little bit rough if the bears were to uh, were to reverse on the day with some news or data so keep an eye on that obviously underneath the 50-day moving average and we have that complication where our shorter term averages are moving down as well to create a technical level of price resistance right in here so we'll want to keep a close eye on that as we rally back if we take a look at our iwm iwm also pretty ugly in the move uh, gapping down below this support on friday and then rallying back but unfortunately that doesn't change a whole lot what that means is is we still have significant levels of price resistance above to deal with now this is a fairly steep downtrend right in here so the rally back up into here shouldn't be all that unexpected so let's keep a close eye on that as we rally back up so if if those bulls really can push watch for that level up here to maybe provide some resistance if the bears were to come in with some kind of reason to push lower today and i don't know what that might be just yet but watch that carefully if they were to reverse if there's some news or something that comes along um, retest to this low you'll notice right in here our level of price support may be just a little bit lower so watch carefully for that if those bears find inspiration let's take a look at our vigs as i have mentioned over and over and over that there's no particular problem in the VIX unless we break this downtrend and we hold a higher low and we have done that as a matter of fact what we did is confirm an uptrend here in the market because we created a lower high excuse me a higher low and a higher high following that trend to the upside so now a rest or pullback in the market would be um, not out of the question and as you can see if we were to pull back into here pull on back find that trend find some of those price supports or maybe even just rest out to here then we run that risk of that next move to the upside and this is where i think if this were to form up this way or a little bit of panic might come into the market and we could see some heavy selling so if you're a bull fingers crossed that that doesn't occur if you're a bear bear that's what you want to see so watch that carefully in the chart now if we take a look at our t2122 t2122 gives us this best hope of a relief rally here in the market we have reached this oversold area and on friday we just couldn't get anything moving and i'm guessing it was just due to the uncertainty heading into that weekend that kind of plagued us here uh, for that potential bounce so watching that closely coming up here today we'll want to watch some of these levels up here in the chart there is a little bit of price level a little bit of price level right in here but oftentimes a relief rally back can bring us up here to the middle um, area of that chart and that might bring us back up to those resistance levels that i pointed out in the index chart so expecting that i was expecting it on friday no big surprise if we do get some kind of a relief 
but we'll want to watch those resistance levels. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 also showed us a little teeny tiny hook here on Friday, suggesting that we might get a little lift uh, coming up in here, assuming that the data doesn't change. And as you can see, holding um, onto some of this support, a relief rally back up into here would not be at all a surprise to test some of those resistance levels in the chart. So pretty ugly sell-off here recently. We went from 75% of the stocks above their 40-day all the way down here to 32, 33% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. So we could use a little bit of a bounce and relief in that chart. We take a look at T2107. Same thing is true. A little bit of a hook here. The good news on this one is that we did hold in here on some price support levels. 44, 45% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. So obviously that's a pretty big change from up here around 60%. Um, a bounce back up into here, right around that 50% area of the chart will run into a little bit of price resistance and that may bring us back to those resistance levels in the index chart so nice to see the possibility of a little bit of relief going on here in the market doesn't necessarily mean it's a reason to buy unless you're doing some really short-term intraday type trading if we take a look at our um T2101 and now T2101 this is interesting here remember T2101 is the absolute breadth index and it doesn't care what direction the market is going you'll notice in here that as we expanded to the upside um, we pushed back up we didn't get any breadth um, uh, rollover here which is interesting that might mean if the bulls can really show some energy here and push we may continue to expand this breadth move with the bullish um, relief rally and sometimes you can see those relief rallies really move because all of the short covering that occurs so watch that closely that's something we really want to see is if that breadth continues to expand what we don't want to see, we don't want to see that breadth falling back off on a relief rally because that would suggest there's just not a lot of confidence there in the market. Watch that closely. Keeping in mind, there is a little bit of a downtrend resistance in here that we'll want to be watching and thinking about. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, it is about as boring as they get. Um, take a look right here. There is virtually nothing going on on that economic calendar today. Uh, we've got a couple of bond auctions in here to be thinking about, and that is about it. What everyone's going to be thinking about and wondering, though, about is when we start reaching over here toward the end of the week, we've got Jerome Powell speaking, and there's going to be several Fed speakers throughout the week. Um, as we move toward the Jackson Hole Symposium. And of course, that can create some volatility, some uncertainty as we wait with all the talking heads and their market engineering and stuff that they're gonna be working on, trying to push the market around it and uh, push their narrative, whichever side it is that they want the market to go. So keep an eye on those things later on this week. Um, you notice we'll have existing home sales coming in here on Tuesday. Tuesday, that's possibly um, could be a little bit problematic because of the rising rates here in the market. Um, mortgage rates hitting 21 year highs. So we'll want to be a little bit careful uh, watching that. We've got PMI, we've got new home sales, we've got petroleum status, durable goods, jobless claims, and then of course that Jackson Hole and the Fed. Um, out here speaking with your own pal bringing up the rear on Friday. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today. And boy, not much going on there on the earnings calendar. I'll run through these really quickly. There are a few other earnings. These are just the most notable. Um, we're going to hear from FN today. Um, NDSN will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that one. And Zoom Mobile is probably the most notable after the bell today. Keep an eye on that. Obviously, Zoom had a tough couple of weeks here. 
uh, breaking that trend, breaking down through support levels in the chart. So this could be a very important report today to kind of be keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up, you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel I earned it, well, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate um, all of the kind support everyone offers um, the channel. We just went over 30,500 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. That's awesome. So every time um, you react to the video, um, putting those thumbs up and even an emoji counts that helps the channel to continue to grow and also big shout out to those folks who do take the time to share this video on their social media feed and for those folks that continue to support the coffee um, support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys can find it there if you want to support the channel that way thank you so much Let's take a look at some of these charts. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're following your risk tolerances, your rules. Do not blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, I wanna mention the US dollar. The US dollar pulling back just a little bit today. We had some fluctuation um, in currencies as China reduced its one year lending rate right? but surprised the market by um, not ra uh, changing its uh, or lowering its five-year rate. So interesting situation here. It was a little bit underwhelming in their uh, stimulus uh, for the market as their real estate uh, crisis continues to expand over there. It's not looking so good overall in their economy. That created some currency fluctuations and you can see we've got the US dollar pulling back, which is interesting because we have bonds moving, bond yields moving up this morning, pressing those interest rates and um, adding some pressure to uh, our overall banking structure. So we'll want to keep an eye on those things. If we take a look um, at some stocks that are looking pretty good, however, let's take a look at CCJ. Now CCJ put in a nice bullish engulfing candle there on Friday. And you can see in the pre-market, it's trying to pump out a weakening dollar should help that uh, move to the upside. So watch that close if the dollar starts to weaken. I wouldn't be all that surprised with this pop like this that this may need a little bit more time in here to rest. But keep a close eye on CCJ, looking pretty good overall. Um, if you take a look at um, um, stocks like ConocoPhillips, ConocoPhillips, a nice little resting pattern up here bullish engulfing candle on Friday trying to push to the upside. So here again, oil sector stocks should do pretty well if the dollar pulls back. Now, one thing we do have to worry about is gas prices go up, that raises our inflation. But for now, oil sector stocks looking pretty good. Nice little resting pattern pushing to the upside. If we take a look at, oh, let's look at our, um, Occidental. Big bullish engulfing candle there. A lot of volatility in this chart, but notice that we're pushing higher here. I'd keep a pretty close eye on some of these um, oil um, sector stocks, there's APA. Nice little resistance area up here has formed in that consolidation and this is a very street steep trend, but you can see that possibility that we might push right on through there in APA. So there's quite a few of these in that sector looking good. So I would watch that pretty closely. Take a look at um, Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty trying to make some moves here. Now this has this earmark that it could be a, um, a, a 
a bullish move or a bearish move all at once. If you look right here, we have a downtrend in play, we have an uptrend in play, we have a little bit of price support in that chart. So when you look at a wedge pattern like this, it tells you there's about a 50-50 shot that it goes one direction or the other. Right now with that bullish engulf, or not bullish engulfing, that very bullish piercing pattern that came in there on Friday, I'm gonna suggest there's probably a little bit more upside move. What's gonna be critical is if Ulta Beauty can and break out of there hold a higher low and then move on higher now we did see um, pretty ugly results from Estee Lauder here. Now, I don't know if that's going to matter much with Ulta Beauty, but Estee Lauder gapping down immediately. Buyers came right back in here pushing into this downtrend. But this is one on the other side of that where I would suggest that this rally back sets up the next potential short unless we can break out of that downtrend. Watch that carefully. If we were to take a look at... Um, Hertz Global. Hertz coming into an interesting pattern here as well. Notice there is that potential upside trend and that potential downside trend with a little bit of price resistance coming in here. If we can hold this higher low in here, maybe look for that opportunity for that to pop out. But if this falters in here, we could easily start moving to the downside. Be a little bit careful in here watching that, but there's a lot of charts like this right now uh, trying to move higher with just a lot of uncertainty in the market. If we take a look at a stock like ANF, there's no uncertainty here. Really big bullish move here in Abercrombie pushing through a nice little pullback to hold bullish engulf yesterday or on Friday. Look for that opportunity that ANF could move on higher. Nice looking chart overall. Considering the weakness of the market on Friday, that's pretty impressive. If we take a look at AEE, um, we're seeing a little bit of a utility recovery trying to happen here. Now utilities have been down sharply, as you can see, trying to bounce through this downtrend. So what I always look for and what uh, you, uh, the RWO folks hear me repeat over and over and over is break the downtrend, hold a higher low, and then I would be looking for that upside. And by the way, right here, pop down through that area, look where we started the rally, right there in the higher low. Happens over and over in the market, so watch right in here if that can hold that higher low in um, AEE. You might also want to take a look at um, NOW. NOW rallying back after failing some support. Now this is a short trade idea where we would be pushing right back up here into this downtrend resistance and I would look for that next opportunity for this to move on lower in the chart. And we do have quite a mix of charts doing that right now. They're all over the place where we've got long signals and short signals showing up. So a little bit of confusion here in the market, a little bit of uncertainty um, that we'll want to be watching closely. Um, Merck. Merck is one of those trying to break out of that bottom or that basing pattern. Look right in here. We bounced around in here pretty sharply, but we are now working to hold a higher low here in the chart. If that holds, then look for that next opportunity somewhere around in here on trend for that next upside move in Merck. Pretty interesting chart. Uh, BMY, BMY also trying that same thing. So it might be worth taking a, a closer look at that healthcare sector. Notice there's that higher low that came in there. We still have this bigger downtrend we need to defeat. But if we're going to see some recovery in that healthcare sector, that might be just what we're looking for to move through to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening today. I do appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the channel. You guys humble me every day with your kind comments. I, I really do appreciate it. You all take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful trading day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the very, very best.